In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can install the E3D Titan Extruder to the FLSEN QQS Pro here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, I'm Zachary and this channel is about 3D printing with tips, tricks, tutorials, how to review news, anything 3D printing or 3D printer related you can find right here on this channel. If you're new here and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the notification button to get the latest videos right in your YouTube alerts. And if you want to have an inside scoop before YouTube, check me on Twitter, Zachary underscore Bergen. And thanks for being here. So last week I did a comparison between a clone Titan extruder and the original Titan extruder from E3D. In this video, I'm going to install the Titan extruder to my FLSUN QQS Pro. If you have a similar model from FLSUN, then you can follow these steps along the way. This is just the installation of the FLSUN. Uh, later on, I will show you a little test print with the Titan extruder installed. Well, let's install the Titan extruder on the FLSUN. Before you are going to start disassembling the stepper motor and the Titan extruder, make sure you have heated up the hot end, making sure that all the filament is out of the Titan extruder and out of the PTFE tube. After that, we take out the stepper motor cable, we take out the little clip, and we take out the PTFE tube. And then we are going to unscrew the Titan extruder assembly together with the stepper motor. So before we are going to install the Titan extruder, we first need to get the bracket. To do that, we need to take off the Titan extruder clone and get to the bracket. So we take the gear, then we, we tighten the grub screw, just at three quarter from the shaft. Then we take the bracket, then we take the bracket from the E3D Titan extruder. We put it on top of it. Then we take the little M3 screw and we are going to assemble it. Make sure that everything is well aligned. Then we take the hub gear. We are going to put it on there. And we have to make sure that the gear is at the same height as the small gear, which is on the shaft of the stepper motor. If it is not, then what you can do is make sure that the grub screw is there unscrew it a little bit and just adjust it a little bit. Something like this. You see how well aligned this is. So let's continue. So then we take the coupler and leave the blue collet clip on so that I can push it right through. So that one goes in here. And we put this little filament guide also in there as well. There's only one way. And then it looks like this. So now we are going to continue. Now we are going to add the idler. Well, the idler that we are going to use is this one. So one part is going in here. Something like that. And then we are going to attach the spring. And then we are going to put the idler in like that. Something like that. 
three. So now we are going to continue. So now we are going to attach the cover plate. So as you can see, you have here one screw with some blue Loctite on it and two without. So the two screws without the blue marking or Loctite or I don't know how this is called, but those two are going inside of here and here. Then we have a third one, also without the blue marking or without the blue Loctite. And that one goes into here. That. And then the last one. So for the last step, you have this screw with the blue marking on it. And you need to take the washer or the lock washer. And then it goes in here. But the problem is that the bracket used here is a little bit thicker. So when I screw it all the way in, it barely grips. As you can see, when I put the screw in here, you can see that it barely grips the, the thread that is in the stepper motor. To solve that issue, I'm going to use one of the screws which came with the clone version. Because this screw is a little bit bigger and we'll get into the holes from the stepper motor. I need to find a solution to make sure that it doesn't go out, but this washer, the lock washer, will prevent that as well. But in the future, I will put some blue Loctite onto it, making sure that it doesn't go out. And then we just screw it in. Hand tight, not tightening all the way because the gears need to roll smoothly without any hindrance. So, and this is the assembly of the Titan x from E3D. It looks great. You have also this, this sticker on it, which makes it even more nicer. And let's install it into the FL Sun. So we take the Titan extruder. We are going to install it right on the place where the other one was. Just take the right Allen key, of course. So, and then we are going to attach the stepper motor cable and also the PTFH tube, push it all the way through as far as possible and then it fits. The kit came with a little piece of PTFE tube. I was wondering what the idea was for this, but I will show you. So there is the little PTFE tube for. We cut it off and then we have a little guide to put the PTFE tube through. Just like this. To load the filament, you have to push the lever to the left, just like this. And then you can push it all the way through until it is all the way to the bottom. There are two more steps that you need to do before getting the Titan extruder working on your FLSEN QQS. There are several things that you need to do before you get your E3D Titan Extruder working on your FLSN QQS Pro. 
Well, the thing is, when I installed the Titan Extruder, from the wires, you can see that all the wires were nicely together. That is how that stopper motor worked. But the E3D version doesn't work like that. And you need, as you can see, you need to switch the red and green wire in order to get it working. So after I did it, I got some feedback from the stepper motor. So that issue was solved, but also some other thing because this stepper motor, which comes in the kit, is a little bit different than the one that is on the FL Sun. You also need to change the steps per millimeter in your firmware. Uh-oh, no problem. FL Sun has your back covered because on the FL Sun SD card, there are some little files if you don't have them, you can go to the website from FL Sun and download the firmware. There is a folder called software and within the software, you have a little folder called firmware. In that firmware, you have a file called Robin Mini TXT file. In there, you have to search for AXT0 underscore steps per millimeter that is currently on 367 so that one is on 367 for the stepper motor that is coming with the titan extruder it is going to be changed into 837 when that is done you save the txt file and you load all the files onto the sd card without the video file that is also on that same card then you're going to take the SD card into the FL Sun and then you are going to reboot your printer. When you did it correctly, you will see that the files are going to be uploaded onto the main board. You know, when the firmware is updated, you have to do an auto bed leveling and every other thing to make sure that it is going to be printing onto the bed. To wrap up this video, when you are going to install the Titan Extruder from E3D on your FL Sun QQS or QQS Pro or similar machines from FL Sun, it isn't that difficult. There are some things that you need to take attention to when doing that. For example, the firmware and also switching the red and green wire on the stepper motor, making sure that the stepper motor is going to work. And then you need to do some bed leveling and also for your first layer calibration. After that is done, enjoy your printing. This video is supported by these awesome Patreon supporters. Lawyer Moses, The Lightspeed and Fixum Dude. Thank you guys for your awesome support every single time again. You can also support this channel by checking the Patreon link in the description of this video. If you're still watching this video, thank you. You are amazing. On the end card, there are some recommended videos worth watching. And while you're there, check out the merch in the merch store to support this channel as well. Please like this video, share this video with other people and on social media. And hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Zachary 3D Prints. Bye bye. Print with a new Titan Extruder. It's going to start right now with printing. Well, I didn't change anything in the firmware, which is not needed in, to my opinion. Thank you. 